Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is, why are you still undecided? The Holy Spirit came to me and asked me, why are the people still undecided? Can they not see what is coming down onto the earth? Can they not feel the change in the air? Can they not see the signs in the sun, the moon and the stars? Can they not understand that there is no much time left, that the seals will be opened right now? And why are they not coming together? They should build the dwelling places of Zion. They should come together in love, unity and support. The only way for them to survive the seal tribulation period is to come out of the world. Leave your careers, leave your worldly affairs, leave your, the worldly temptations. Have nothing to do with the world, because the world will be the ruling area of the Antichrist. And when you remain in the world, then you only have the choice either to take the mark and lose your eternal life, or to die as a murderer. But you can come out of the world and build the dwelling places of Zion. These dwelling places will be separated from the world. Yes, they are still in the world, but they have nothing to do with the world. The people and the assemblies within these dwelling places will support one another, will share resources, and will do anything they can to be separated from the worldly agencies or from the dependency on any governmental system. Because as soon as you want to use a governmental system or ask for help, you will be required to take the mark. Now people understand that not everybody will go into the escape of the bride. Only 10% of the church. Now what about the 90%? Should they all die as murderers? No, of course not. So God has prepared a way for you. He has prepared a way for you to come out of this world and to serve him by diligently proclaim the gospel of the kingdom to the nations and to your neighborhoods. By doing so, is you establish a society of the rose. You gather the assemblies, the children of Zion into it. You empower them and you send them out to bring in the harvest of the ages, to win souls every day, to be the example, the example of the heavenly kingdom for all to see. But because you are separated from the world and because you proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. Then God can protect you in these dwelling places of Zion. And he will put a cloud and a smoke by day over you. And a flaming fire by night. So that nobody can come. The enemy will not find you. The enemy will stand in front of your door. And he will not know that you are there. The Lord will protect you. But you have to come out of the world. You have to give up your old life. You have to start a new life. Otherwise, you will not make it. When will you understand, people? When will you understand that we are here to help you and to set you on the new path, the path to Mount Zion, so that you can be part of the multitude closed and white, alive and not as a murderer, and that you can enter paradise and be raptured at the sixth seal? So please come forward. Seek what the Lord is showing you. Build the establish the dwelling places and establish the dwelling places of Zion. Gather the people with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Speak boldly about the coming kingdom. Ask the people to repent and to come out of their old lives and to change. Only then they will have a chance. This is the same as if you go into a great natural disaster and you are alone. And then everything will be destroyed around you. And if you are alone, there is no help. But if you are together in a loving community, then the other people can come forth and support you. And it will not be so bad. It will be bad nonetheless, but not so bad as if you are alone. But now you are fighting alone and now you think, oh, I can stay with one leg in the world and with one leg I can serve Christ. But you cannot do that because you are termed lukewarm and you cannot do that. You have to come out of the world. I know it's not easy because you will give up all your nice things, your meat pots. As the Israelites said, when they came out of Egypt, they also complained and said, why have we not remained in Egypt where we had all the meat? Yes, we were slaves, but at least we had the meat pots. 
now it's the same for you to come out of the world and your complacency it's not easy i understand that but you have to do and make the first step come forward right now in jesus name i pray and in the name of god almighty jehovah jireh i pray so that he can cover you under his wings with his power and his glory step forward right now and come out of the world because the holy spirit is asking you why are you still undecided when i send you day after day messengers who tell you something bad is coming but you do not decide you are still think, listening to the wolves in sheep clothes they say everything will become better and better no nothing will become better and better everything become worse and worse and you have to come together and get prepared thank you that you have listened to this daily this topic today and i hope also you also listen to the daily prophetic word because this is a whole message that the holy spirit has given me about being undecided now come forward if you have any question how to establish a dwelling place of zion and how to gather the assembly of zion in, into it and how you can go forth in the neighborhood and how you can do a daily sacrifice and how you act in and make love meals and come together in love unity and support then please just send me an email to triple grace 55 at gmail.com and i will help you god has instructed us to bring this message forth to the whole world so that in every nation dwelling places will be established I was trained over 10 years to be prepared for this time now and I tell you can tell you exactly what you have to do now please come forward step out of the world and out of Babylon and be part of the great exodus spiritually of course you you cannot walk out of the world because we only have one world but spiritually you have to separate yourself from the world and establish at your home the dwelling places of zion not the church the dwelling places of zion you want to be part of the multitude closed and white that will be raptured at mount zion into into paradise and will be with our lord and savior jesus christ forever and ever now is the time to step forward please don't be undecided Come forward now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Become a member of triple-grace.com. And if you have a question, come forward to me. I can answer it. I was prepared for this time. Now, please, step forward. The same way as Moses has pleaded with the Israelites, come out of Egypt. Now I am pleading with you, come out of the world and out of Babylon. Come out of the Jezebel spirit. Come out of sexual immorality of idolatry and everything what is there that is negative and from the enemy come out of it be separated stand strong for the lord this is a time now people it's a time now the seals will be open very soon and then it will be too late now you have to come forward now you have to come into unity now you have to build brotherly love communities now you have to come together and love unity and support now you have to share resources and now you have to support one another this is a time and no other thank you that you have listened to this topic may god bless you and your family abundantly and i hope i will see you again tomorrow for the next one have a blessed day maranatha